Whether you're a student or someone who wants to learn something, ChatGPT just released a massive update that won't just give you answers, but it'll help you understand and learn how things work. And I am talking about study and learn, so you can do slash study, or you can click tools, and then you can pick study and learn. And in this video, I'm gonna show you all the cool ways you can use this tool, as well as the system prompt that ChatGPT used, so you can actually carry it over to the large language model of your choice. So let's start off with just regular ChatGPT and our prompt is teaching me what multiplication means at a beginner level. So we can hit go and this is just normal ChatGPT. So we can see, hey, multiplication is a way to add the same number several times. We can see the examples and it just kind of gives us this. But we're going to come back here and we're going to use the study mode now. And this is slightly different because this isn't going to just give us an answer. This is going to actually try to help us learn how it works. So let's start with the basics. Multiplication is repeated addition, and then it goes on and then tells us, hey, you're adding four plus four, and it's giving us examples for just 12. And then it kind of breaks it down just for three and four. So it says, hey, do you want to try a couple of examples? Where here, it was just like, all right, this is what it is. So we can say, yes, let's try some examples or just yes, and it's going to bring us up examples. So it's like, hey, if you have five bags and it's giving us a word problem with an example for us to actually understand how multiplication works and if we come back here if we just typed yes because it didn't really give us a question and if i can type yes if we can just type yes and we didn't give it a question it's just like hey you got it because it there is no follow-up you're not learning it's just like a single shot prompt where it's giving you an answer back so if you want to break down a concept and then actually learn the concept rather than just being told what the answer is for the concept, fantastic tool. So our next one is flashcards. And I'm just have a prompt here, test my US geography with flashcards. I'm not American. So this will be fun. Let's see what I can do on camera here. So let's do a quick flashcard style quiz. And I'm gonna ask you questions. You can reply with your answer. Let's start. So what is the capital of the United States? So let's just put DC because I'm lazy and I'm not spelling it all out. And it says, okay, correct, you did it. So which state is known as the Sunshine State? That is indeed Florida. So you can see it's actually giving us a fun little flashcard quiz option. So let's just take the same exact prompt and let's bring it back to normal chat. So no flashcards, no nothing. You're gonna see, hey, here's flashcard one and flashcard two, and it's just kind of giving us all of them all at once. And it's like, hey, if you know the answers, I'll check them for you. But it's not as educational, if that makes sense. You can take a syllabus, your notes, whatever you have in a class and actually upload them to ChatGPT and then quiz it or say, hey, ChatGPT, quiz me on this content. So let's see what I know. So you can actually use it as a way to study for tests or quizzes for an actual class. So let's try getting it to help us right now. So instead of just having it write an essay for us, I'm gonna say, hey, I wanna outline a thousand word essay about AI, but I want it written at a high school level. What does that look like? How will it help us? So here's our outline of our essay, and we can actually see like, hey, the first couple of hundred words, you're gonna have your hook, a brief explanation. It's not giving us the essay exactly, but it's kind of helping us start with the structure of an essay. So this is a lot better because the essay is gonna be yours rather than AI's. Let's see what happens when you make a mistake. So I need some simple addition questions and it's going to give us some questions here and it says, hey, you can give them a try. So let's just say number one, for example, seven plus three is totally 11, right? So we're just gonna put 11 for number one and it says that is correct. Seven plus three is 10, not 11. Would you like to try another one or help with the next question? So, huh? You said I was correct? Oops, my mistake. You were actually close, but the correct answer to seven plus three is 10, not 11. Thanks for catching that. So kind of not great that I had to catch its mistake. Basically what I'm getting at is while you're using these tools, it is still AI and it can still hallucinate. So just be careful. If you're using it as an outline, great. If you're using it as a study guide for material that you already know and you're kind of looking over and you can verify the answers yourself afterwards, still great. But if you're using it to replace an actual teacher or a tutor, then as you can see, probably not the best. Nonetheless, I didn't know if you know this, but Gemini has the same exact feature and has had it for months. On Gemini, you go on the left menu and there are gems and you can see all the different gems that they have here. We can hit show more and there is one called the learning coach. So we can click that gem, 
we can put in the same exact question and let's see what it comes up with. So question number one, what is five plus three? And let's give it an answer of seven instead of eight. We are going with seven and it says, that's a good try. You were very close, but think of it this way. And it goes on and tells you, hey, you're wrong. Kind of like what ChatGPT should have done. But let's say you really like the ChatGPT way. Here is the ChatGPT study mode prompt. So we can click this button here above my head. I'll have a link in the description below. This is the Franklin A website. And we can copy the prompt. We can come back to Gemini, go to gems, click new gem, and we can actually put this in and put it in a gem and we can give it a name like GPT study. And now we can just kind of talk to it and give it knowledge. And we have literally the same exact prompt that you'd find on ChatGPT, but now on Google Gemini. If you're on Claude, you can go to projects, put in the prompt there and use it there as well. So I think GPT study mode is pretty cool and it is an absolute game changer for studying and for learning things but you always gotta be careful with the information it gives you back as seen by my very simple addition problem. And I'm sure I'm gonna get some people in the comments that are gonna disagree and let me know what your thoughts are down below, but I think it's useful, but it's not a replacement, at least not yet, until we get AGI. And I'll have a video about that sometime next week. If you guys enjoy AI content, don't forget to subscribe. I cover AI on a daily basis. Don't forget to like the video. It tells Augur that we enjoy this type of content and you wanna see more of it. Let me know what your thoughts are on this one down below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you tomorrow with another AI video. AI tools, AI news, AI prompts you can use. It's all for free, just come and see at franklinaa.com where you're meant to be.